Today, we're going to talk about season two changes and the five best ones that they've done specifically related to Warzone. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the first and one of the biggest changes that they made, the looting. So they tried something different and, you know, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. But when you're so used to opening a box, everything just comes out, you pick what you want and go. When you have and introduce a system like they had before, where you get inside the box, you pick out what you want from there, or you kill somebody, you go through their pack, and you start going through and stowing this item and doing this and doing that, blah, blah, blah. It just slows down the game, which has already been slowed down quite a bit because of the map, the TTK, the movement in general. So this is a great move. They've now changed this. You hit a medical supply cabinet. Everything pops out on the ground. You grab what you want. Boom, you're good to go. There's some things that you don't even have to grab anymore, which is fantastic, like cash or, you know, plates or anything like that. It just makes life a lot easier when you can see everything and, and just go on about your business. So the looting is much improved. And yes, it's just like the previous two war zones or, or war zone one in Caldera and Verdansk, but it's so easy and intuitive that, to be honest with you, that's kind of the way it should be. This is going to lead into the second much needed change inside of Warzone, the sound. Oh, nice. Oh, they cover that up. Now your boxes, footsteps, all of those audible sounds are so much better. I'm surprised it took this long to really implement a change like that. It was so hard to hear just, just boxes. And I mean, you would have people open up parachutes right behind you. And then of course, you know, it only takes two punches and they would punch you out and boom, you'd be dead. Uh, footsteps were almost inaudible. So they went from this really crazy extreme where everything was super loud and intense to not loud enough. Now I feel like they've, they, they've gotten a really good balance there. So the sound is definitely a much needed change and update to season two. Let's talk about the gameplay and the way this game actually plays now. It's actually a little bit quicker. Now, I don't think you're going to be slide canceling around the map uh, like we were in the previous two maps, but it does feel a little bit quicker. I know plating is much quicker now. The movement seems a little bit smoother, a little bit quicker. And again, that slide kind of... Uh, it, again, it's not as quick as slide canceling per se, but it does seem like you can ADS your gun a little bit quicker after initiating a slide. I really didn't even notice this until one of my buddies, Big Earn, if you're familiar with the channel, you know who that is, uh, actually said something. I was like, you know what? This does actually feel good. And I started to, to, to really pay attention to the plating and other things like that. So the movement and the speed at which the game is playing is a little bit quicker. And for a huge map like this, where sometimes there's some lull in the action, depending on where you actually drop, uh, th that is a good thing. Next thing we're going to talk about is stats are finally in Warzone. Now I understand why you maybe didn't want to introduce this right off the rip, let everybody get used to the new type of gameplay, the new map and all of that. Uh, it just was super aggravating. Uh, you know, considering that, you know, your wins and, you know, what you were doing before your KD, all that, none of it counts now. None of it counts until right now. So you got to play five matches and then your Warzone stats will become available. But it is nice to see that. I like seeing stats, but I'm also a growth type of person. I want to see myself getting better. I want to see my numbers. That's just, you know, kind of one of the things that drives me. And that's why I love YouTube. But regardless, man, seeing your stats is a good thing. Another good thing is the way they've designed the menus. So now let's say you're looking for your camos on your gun. They actually have them in individual boxes. You don't have to scroll through the entire uh, list of camos to get to the one you want. They have them all categorized and easy to find now 
The HUD has also been cleaned up a little bit, so your kill counter and the players remaining isn't as large. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit cleaned up as far as that goes. And so the menus have been cleaned up quite a bit, and the way you navigate those things is much better. And one of the biggest and best things that they've changed, which is still kind of an issue, but it is a good thing, is the loadouts. Dude, they had them dropping, you know, what, once a game, right? And they changed it from, uh, somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, and that's fine, but I, I want to say it was like right before the second uh, circle, maybe after the second circle, beginning of the third. That's what it was when we first started, which was ridiculous, dude. And the cost of the loadouts were 32 grand or something. Well, anyways, you know, now it's, what, after the very first circle. Uh, so they did that, but then they would drop them in a straight line. So you could be hundreds, hundreds of meters away, maybe even a thousand meters away or more from the center of the circle where the loadouts were dropping and not have a chance to get your loadout. Um, and, and, you know, they had like five or six loadout drops. Well, now they have three planes that come in and drop them randomly throughout the map uh, inside the, the second circle. So this is a much needed change, dude. Loadouts are, are it is so, just so bad, dude. You can camp a loadout and get, dude, I, I did it and I freaking got like five kills. I mean, and, and I don't camp loadouts that often. Sometimes I will though. I mean, sometimes I will. It's just kind of easy kills. <laughs> so, you know, it's a really crappy thing to do. Um, and I hate it done to me, so I don't do it often because I just, I, I don't like it. Um, but the way they've done loadouts in this game and having everybody being able to access the same loadouts is something I'm not a fan of, but the way they drop in now is much better than what it was before. The last thing we're going to talk about is everybody now starts with a three plate vest. This is a great feature. You also, everybody has the same size backpack, so there's no different sizes. So people can't just stack up, self-revive, self-revive, precision, precision, precision. Uh, so it evens the playing field quite a bit. So a lot of these changes, man, are actually really good, dude. I'm really excited about some of these changes. Uh, I did not mention the Gulag. I'm still kind of on the fence about that. Uh, I like the 2v2 nature of it. I talk about this in my stream sometime because Let's say you get killed right off the rip. Well, if you run the table in the gulag, now you can get two kills to kind of get your, your KD back up, get your, your confidence back up, and then drop back into the match. Or if you're not playing so hot, you have a partner that could potentially bring you out of the gulag, and you can try to regain uh, that way as well. So the 1v1, it feels very familiar now. I like what they did with the map. I like that they they basically cut it in half now to accommodate 2v2. I just don't know how I feel about it just yet. But, you know, we'll, we'll see, you know, as time goes along. I, I think I've probably won 70% of my Gulag since I won, went 1v1. Uh, typically, I do win quite a bit of my, uh, of my Gulags anyway. So there you go, man. Love to hear any changes that you've seen that you really like in the new Season 2 update. Let me know what you like or don't like, and I may put some of those things in a future video. Big thanks to you guys. See you in the next one. And as always, holding down.